Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Mountain Standard Time. I'm Rob, and uh, I'm just a guy here in Colorado who loves to talk about watches, right? <laughs> Too much, I think. All right, guys, today we are going to be talking about a uh, watch that uh, a coworker of mine, Steve, let me borrow. The watch is by Rue, R-O-U-E. And this is the TPS, and the TPS stands for Tachymeter Pulsometer Chronograph. So let's check it out. I just wanted to take a quick pic or a quick video of everything that comes in the package from Rue when you buy this watch. Um, so you get the watch with two straps, you get a a silicon strap and you also get a leather rally strap comes with a uh, a nice gray box nothing too crazy inside the box is the watch and it comes with this travel case it's a really nice travel case um, and a cleaning cloth and the warranty card so let's get some close-ups on the watch this is a tachymeter chronograph. Oh, it's also a pulsometer. Tachymeter, pulsometer, chronograph. So this watch is designed off of the 1960s racing era chronographs. And um, the back of the watch is a engraving of a Porsche 910. So that's the hood of the Porsche 910. There she is. And this retails on their site for $290. The dimensions of it are uh, 40 millimeters wide, which is the perfect sweet spot for just about anybody's wrists. It is 47 millimeters lug to lug, lug to lug, and the uh, thickness of the watch is 13 millimeters, so not too bad. Um, the fishing is really nice. Let's talk about the movement. The movement is not a standard quartz and it is not a standard automatic movement or manual line movement. It's a hybrid. So this is a Mecca quartz. So it's a combination of uh, quartz accuracy, battery powered, but it's connected with uh, some internal gears that give the sweep second uh, a faster beat rate than just a one tick per second. You can see that right there. So if you don't wanna spend um, the higher prices for fully mechanical watches, then this is a great option. The accuracy of quartz is way better than uh, mechanicals so that's the other advantage that you get with uh, quartz watches let's uh, stop it nice reset whoa all the the lug widths are 20 millimeters so you can swap it out with most straps 20 millimeters is a very common size for straps. And if you take a look, the this is a uh, push pin release system. So I can come in here and just pull it back with my nail. No need for tools. Oh great, now what do I do with it? Let's see if I can put it back on camera. There you go, I put it back on camera, looking through the viewfinder. So it's that easy. Okay, uh, the TPS model from Rue comes in a black and a panda and this blue. So you have three options out there 
and there are, uh, it was a limited run of a thousand pieces, according to Rue's website. Um, this watch has got a little bit of uh, um, street cred because it was reviewed by Worn and Wound. So if you get the attention of Worn and Wound and they feel that it's worthy enough for a review, well, congratulations, Rue. You've kind of made it onto the watch collecting scene if you get a, an article written by Worn and Wound. So, oh, and if, if a uh, channel, YouTube channel called Mountain Standard Time does a video on you, you've also made it big time, right? Well, all right, guys, that's it. That is my review of this Rue TPS watch. Very cool. Uh, coming in at $290. Um, man, this, this is a watch just for having fun, right? Um, you don't have a lot of money tied up in this thing. You don't have to worry about putting scratches on it. It's a great daily beater. Or if it's your, your only watch, this would be a great watch. If you just don't feel that you need to spend a lot of money on watches, you're, you can't go wrong with this one either. So that's it. Guys, if you like the video, please give me a like. Please subscribe to my channel by hitting a bell icon. I bet you you can't hit that bell icon. And uh, leave some comments down below for me. All right, guys, coming to you from Denver, Colorado. Have a great day. Bye.